Let's look inside the common hair dryer. As you can see, this one's not in great condition because we've been using this on our blacksmith forge. So to take this one apart, you simply take out the screws and the injection molded housing just snaps apart. It's always fun when you can take a look inside and start to see what makes this thing tick. So we have this three position switch, which makes the unit turn on, high and low. Now these fans are really powerful and a lot of people want these for their RC cars to make them go really fast. These motors are DC current, which means you can run them on a battery. Now check out the business end of this heating system. These heat shields are similar to fiberglass, very high temperature. Now these coils inside are probably nickel chromium. They have a really long life and get cherry red. Now these coils run on alternating current or AC current right from the outlet. Now this part's interesting. This ground wire runs all the way down to the plug. So if water gets into the front or the side of this unit, the GFI will shut the power off. Now let's take a look at this sought after DC motor. These are incredible. You can see the four diodes right here that convert the AC power to DC power. So if you wanna use this motor for something cool, like an RC car, clip these diodes off and you're ready to go. Well, basically that's all the cool stuff that's inside of this hairdryer. We've got the injection molded housing, this purple aesthetic switch plate will clip right to the inside switch. We've got some metal components that'll hold up to the heat and you just snap it back together. Well, I hope you enjoyed viewing in to the secret life of some of these simple machines. So I realize this is not the typical automotive video. So if you're interested in how things work like I am, just let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more videos like this.